What's good, y'all? As you can see, it's your girl Jamila Akira Akira Hokage. And as you can see by today's title, we're going to be talking about college. Oh. And a couple of advice I'm going to give y'all right off the bat. Like, I'm not playing. This actually going to be some real advice. For somebody who just graduated this May, can, we get a, can, can I get a thank you? Can we, get a, can we get a round of applause, please? Why are you guys sideways? Stop looking at me sideways. I know you're attracted to me. I know you're so attracted to me, but calm down. Can I get a... I just... Round of applause Anyways. for me. Thank you. <laughs> Jimmy Lock, you everyone. Have you were watching everything? I could see y'all really needed help with college. And trust me, I needed help too. I didn't know who to talk to, well, like, to be honest with you. I am the oldest sister. I am my only help. Honestly, with some of the stuff when it comes to like registration and classes and stuff, I really had to thug it out. But I'm glad I had uh, my friend who had an older sister, lucky bastard, and helped her out with everything. So I'm going to help you. I'm going to be your older sister today i'm the hokage and you're my shinobi so if you guys like the video please don't forget to like comment and subscribe because i'm gonna do a series and it's gonna be included in world to hokage so don't forget right, y'all basically i'm gonna get straight to the point i'm not gonna waste y'all time Never met her, the editor new here please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and join ysg it's a gang easy winner wow and i'm doing a series starting today called road to hokage but i want to talk to y'all help y'all with college so basically number one what i'm gonna tell y'all to avoid doing if you actually want to pass and you want to pass with mental clarity like you want to be happy in college i know right that should sound crazy as hell don't it twin let's take advice from a girl who just graduated in may barely but we did it we did it but number one Stop procrastinating. Stop Please, it. Stop procrastinating. Get some help. Bro, I was procrastinating making this video until I kept seeing all y'all searches talking about college. And I'm like, wait, I graduated. Let me help y'all. Stop procrastinating. And you're talking to the biggest procrastinator ever, chat. Like, I'm telling you, my Shinobi, bro. I'm the girl who literally, when I was procrastinating, I stopped my homework to go watch SpongeBob, the episode where he was procrastinating. That's how you know I was not taking life seriously, because what? But mind y'all, I was taking my general, so let's be for real. When you get to your junior, when you find out your major, that's different. You guys are going to be like, but Hokage, oh, that's that's basic advice. No, it's not, sweetheart, because let me tell you something. When you procrastinate your work, you're thinking, ah, uh, I'm going to have fun right now, and I'm going to make sure I get it done later. And if if not, I might, I'm going to ask for an extension. Who's to say you're not going to get an extension? You're not guaranteed an extension. And if you are, the teacher might be petty and cut off points by the day, by whatever. You don't know these professors, bro. Well, you got to stop thinking professors are your friends, bro. They're not. Some are and they chill. And it's always good to have a relationship with your professors. But, baby, you're here to survive. And a lot of, a lot of the programs, especially when you get to, like, your major, it's a weeded out system. Bro. They, they, they doing, they going to do stuff to get on your nerves to see if you're going to drop the class or not. As you're wondering, my major was speech language pathology and I still have to go back and get my masters, you feel me? But I remember like the, no, the first semester, all the girls I seen, because if you had the, a major, you will most likely see the same people until you graduate, right? I'm telling you, my love, all these girls dropped out after the first semester. And I, and I didn't even, I knew, and I don't even know where they went until I seen them on campus. And I'm like, what happened? Like, ah, oh, nah, that was too hard for me. That's what they want you to think. That's why I'm saying stop procrastinating and get the work done now. Because you're thinking you have all this time, or you have all this time to go dilly dally, dilly dally, dilly dally. I'm having free time right now. And I, and I, I'm, what am I doing? Playing on my games? Yeah, play on your games. But when you have your work done, when I have my videos edited, bro. Because I'm telling you, bro, no one's going to get that work done unless you. Right? Here's a quote I'm going to tell you guys that literally helped me, bro. Because it's the truth. Whether you like it or not, it's going to happen. Either you can struggle right now and get that work done today, and tomorrow is going to be easy. Today's going to be hard. Tomorrow's going to be easy. Or is, to is today going to be easy and tomorrow's going to be hard, bro? And think about it. You're always going to end up being that future version of yourself. So why do you want to make that harder for her or for him or for them? You feel me? It's just like, bro. Bro, just get it done now, bro. And when I say get it done, if, you're, if you guys are anything like me, when you look at assignments, you literally freeze up. You look at it and you're like, mm. you open that canvas. Ooh, law, forgive me. You open that canvas app and you're like, cooked. You see the assignments, cooked. You see that due tomorrow, 11.59, cooked. Um, I'm telling you, baby, don't don't wait until it's 11.59. Get it done as soon as you can. Because 
I took neuroscience, bro, and I'm telling you, bro, the first, like, month I was getting everything done weeks in advance. And that made it too easy for me. Like, I made it too easy. And then, you know, I was in my self-sabotaging era, so I was like, mm, let me do the time it's late. I got time. And in doing so, when you do that, you end up stressing yourself out so much more and giving yourself anxiety because now... Because that real anxiety doesn't come from whether you're able to do the assignment or not or what, what grade you end up getting. That anxiety comes from, hmm, the overthinking of it and the overcomplications of it. So, babes, I'm telling you from your Hokage, you don't got to do anything crazy. Just attempt the assignment. Just read the assignment. And if you can, ask for, if, if you need help, ask for help. And I know, I don't know how y'all call this or how your system is, but I, my TAs in my major, they ain't really helped me like that, to be honest with you. I was cooked. There was no YouTube videos. I was cooked. I was thugging. That's why I was procrastinating for real. But it was like, yeah, just, you know, just try attempt to read it, you know, and then ask the teacher for help and keep asking, keep bothering them. Be like, nah, bro, can we set up a time and over Zoom or something? And can we please get this done? Bro, it's okay. Like, ask for help because you're never going to see them again unless you have my major. When all like they had not enough teachers, so they had to recycle teachers. So if you were cooked in one class and the guy didn't like you or the girl didn't like you, you're cooked in the next. Talk about being patient. Yeah. But yeah. Number one, don't procrastinate. Don't do it, bro. I know it's easy to get caught up in stuff, but wallahi, like you know what they say, free freedom, free time is the devil's playground. Like if you have free time, bro, just try to get it done, because you're gonna not only take away like your anxiety, your depression, your worries. It, it just, you feel good even if you are going to fail, bro. Even like you didn't study shit. You feel good knowing that you're going to attempt this and get it done with. That's something about college. Don't do this. Number two, some advice I really want to tell y'all, and I really want to put an emphasis on this, especially to those who are have perfectionism and, you know, perfectionism and you just have anxiety with your work and you procrastinate and self-sabotage, but mostly perfectionism. It doesn't matter how much you study, bro. You're going to end up not doing so hot on one of your tests somehow. That's how college is. It's, it's really a test. But let me tell you something, bro. College is going to be that time for you where you're genuinely not going to care, bro. Like, you're going to actually look at the D on your work, and you're going to be like, got that shit done. <laughs> like, got that shit done. I'm going to get food later. Like, I'm telling you, bro. And you're talking about somebody who is perfect. <laughs> older sister in an immigrant household. <laughs> I'm talking. My parents are asking me every second, what homework you got going on? <laughs> Shush! Mm. 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 Cause baby, I'm out here, but like speaker knockers, flexing, flexing. I be flexing, flexing and finessing. Mm. She was talking about. Um. Yeah, yeah, bro. Literally, don't be tr don't be too hard on yourself, my love, my ninja. I really believe in you, and you are very smart. And if you put the effort in and you tried, and if you didn't put the effort in and you still tried, you should really pat yourself on the back. And I really mean it, because the real courage lies in trying, bro. You know how many people have passed and study? You know how, people, you know how much people have passed because they cheated on the exam? And yeah, I know, obviously, haha, ha, like, that's what really matters, getting the grade and everything. But genuinely, bro, if you really studied, you put your effort, you should give yourself a pat on the back, especially if, you, if you're not that type of person. And I really mean that, bro, because that shows you that you can trust yourself, that builds confidence knowing you could do it. Sometimes it's just not your time, bro. Sometimes, like, you know, school ain't like that, bro. Sometimes it be cooked. Bro, the professor could give you the board. He'll tell you, this is going to be on the exam, and you're not going to see one question in there. You're cooked. And my major, baby, I couldn't find nothing on YouTube. I was doing biology and biology and the physics of the voice. What does that even mean? What does that even mean? How do you even search that up? How do you Google this? How do you ask for help? I told you there was only one person in the entire university of Minnesota that could help me. And even then, when I told her the professor I had, she was like, you're cooked. Plus, guess who graduated though, on time? Congratulations, Congratulations on time, time. We knew you could do it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah. 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 I'm literally, oh my yeah. god. So Love stop. you. Yeah. Stop beating yourself up because you didn't get the grade you want. Because I promise you, one or two exams, you didn't do hot, you're still going to pass the class. You might not get an A, but what they say, baby girl, baby boy, baby they them, C's get degrees.
C's get degrees. And I'm telling you, if you're worried about the jobs and stuff, bro, like, trust that God will give you a job, bro. Like, trust me, there's people who are less qualified than you. Their entire college, like, they cheated. They completely cheated and they got a job somehow. I don't know how they did it. You could do it too, baby girl. What baby boy like? Trust me. Trust me. Just trust me, bro. If, if, if I could graduate, bro, and I'm not even, this is not even a diss to myself, but if I could do it in a major that's like, very unknown, very like not resourced base. Like if I could do it, you could do it. You just gotta put a little bit of elbow grease. So what I say, number one, don't procrastinate. Even if you don't know what you're doing, bro, just attempt to try, attempt to try. Number two, if things don't go out your way, don't cry and don't complain, bro. Don't cry and don't complain. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I don't know if you're in college right now or you're practicing. Most of y'all are pro most of y'all are in college. You took an exam and you got maybe a D or a C, right? Obviously I hope you did it. But if you did, it's like, you still ate your pizza, didn't you? You made a bet to yourself, like, yo, if I pass this, if I pass it with an A or a B, with an 87%, bro, I'm going to go take myself out today. I'm going to go buy that shirt, that perfume. Nigga, you still did it, didn't you? My guy. Because <laughs> I bought, I told myself in one of my classes, I said, if I get a B or an A, I'm like, let me get a B. I'll be, I'll be, I'll be lenient to myself. I said, I'm going to get myself this jean jacket. Guess who got a D on that? Guess who got a D on that? I think, like, I think it was a D or like a C minus. And I, I looked at it like I was shook because I actually studied for it. It was one of my general classes. I was like, whatever. You know, I, I still passed. I still got like a really good grade anyways. But I was like, oh, clock it. <laughs> oh, as she said, as she scrolled to place her order for that jean jacket. Because <laughs> baby, life is going to move. You're always, you're not always going to be on 10, bro. But as long as you're on 10 here, like you trying, you building a system, that's what matters. Okay, so procrastinating and not beating yourself up. Three, I'm telling you right now, like this might be a little bit taboo, but I'm telling you right now, bro, it's gonna work. Make friends in that class. And not friends, make acquaintances in them classes, bro. I promise you, I promise you, I promise you. Because there's always gonna be one person in that class who understands the material so well. But in another class that y'all might share, they might not understand it. Use that to your advantage. Swoop in like, hey, do you get this? Oh, yeah, I, I understand. I understand that. How about the other class? Do you understand what's going on in that class? Not really. Actually, I can help you, bro. And, you know, be smooth with it because, you know, my ninjas, we, we stealth with it. You feel me, bro? Like, I'm telling you, you got to, like, learn to be social, bro. I'll be so real. You'll be surprised who's going to help you with the homework, bro, like. Like, who's going to be able to break this down for you? Who's willing to spend extra time for you? And if you're sick, you didn't make it willing to share their notes with you. And their notes might be a lot better than their teachers. Like, I'm telling you, bro, even if they don't seem like it, just talk to them, bro. Just just get out your bubble. That's the whole point of college. Get out your bubble. Like, you telling me you trying to network? You telling me you trying to get a nice job after college, but you can't even talk to your classmates? What if your classmate's father literally owns a firm in, in that job, a business? I knew this kid, I didn't know of this kid personally, but he was in my biology class. This kid networked with another kid and his dad owned a firm that he was majoring in and he got a job literally during college. So you don't know where your blessing is at. And I'm telling y'all always, and I'm going to tell you my shinobis from personal experience, okay? You miss 100% of the shots you don't take, bro. Stop being shy. Shyness and embarrassment is just temporary, bro. That's in your head, bro. No one, no one can tell you that's embarrassing if you don't get if you don't care, bro. You're trying to win, bro. You're trying to eat. You're trying to win. You're, you're trying to graduate on time, bro. You feel me? You're not trying to pay for extra classes. So don't listen to these what people are saying, bro. If you got to act a little eh, eh, to get that uh, uh, that you better eh, uh, you feel me? You better finesse. Because I promise you, you're not going to know these people next semester. And if you do, clutch. And if you don't, well, baby, you got your stuff. And then every time, and you know, sometimes I'm, I'm, I hate to admit it, but like if they tweak it or whatever, you better make sure you get the most out of it. You better squeeze that juice until there ain't no juice no more. You better squeeze that acquaintanceship until there's no juice no more, right? I ain't gonna lie to you. Like, get your fix. You gotta do that with me. I gotta put me first, Lucius. I gotta put me first. I gotta put me first. Well, like, whatever it takes to hustle. Whatever it takes to hustle. Don't procrastinate. Don't be shy. And don't beat yourself up, bro. And those are going to be the main tips I'm going to tell you for this video. If you guys want to know anything more about me for college, my study tips, what apps I use on my iPad, um, I'll be honest with you, I'm not going to BS you guys. I'm not going to tell you, well, actually, just studying right now. I'm going to tell you, like, the real spill as legally and respectfully as I can. Because I got methods to study, and I don't study like a regular person, bro. I really have very intricate methods. 
And depending on your class, if your class, especially to all my nursing babes, taking like biology and like 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 neuroscience, you gotta do more memorization. I got I got a trick for that. I got a trick for that. I, I made it into a game. I, I literally can put y'all on, bro. For real. If you guys want more tips and everything, more tips and tricks for college or just anything else, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and please let me know down below. You are officially honorary of why is you shinobi. I believe in you, bro. I don't know how college is for you. You know, I trust that you're gonna be fine, okay? You might feel lonely, you might feel scared, but I believe you're gonna be okay. Why? Because you're my shinobi and you clicked this video for some reason. That's already of a sign that you're trying your best, bro. Stop beating yourself up because you don't gain nothing by beating yourself up. I could talk to y'all for so long, but I know your attention span, attention span is shit and you got an exam to study for. I wish you the best. I pray for you. My um, Comment down below your name, YSG, and your name. So why is G Sarah? <laughs> Why is G Myrtle? Why is G George? <laughs> Whatever. Why is G Muhammad? And, and join Why is G. And, you know, after this college stuff, we might just really talk more about Road to Hokage. It's basically going to be stuff like this about getting a car and being 22 and just, you know, just, just talks like this. So if you guys like the video, uh, thank you for sticking around. I appreciate you and your time. I really hope whatever you do in college, I support you. Um, just know you are more than your degree, bro. You are more than what your parents tell you. You're not worth a stupid degree, a stupid piece of paper. Mind you, I still didn't even get my 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 actual physical copy of my grad my degree yet. I got the PDF version. Just get all out here. But you're worth more than that. You're worth more than a piece of paper. You're worth more than whatever they can whatever job can hire you. I love you and I see you, bro. And I and I root for you, bro. Allah, I pray Allah gives you success. Even if you're not Muslim, bro, I pray Allah gives you success, bro. And I'm rooting for you. If your parents don't believe in you, bro, invite me to your graduation, twin invite me if you're in minnesota invite me i'm gonna come i'm so dead ass tell me i will come and support you and if we do this youtube stuff and we more up with it i might take flights for y'all dead ass because i'm so proud of you guys it's so hard to clap for yourself when no one is there bro and i know how it feels in all types of areas but that's why i got this fat ass be clapping for me on, on my behalf all right, all right, all right, not too much not too much all right i gotta go um i love you so much thank you for being here thank you for existing um you're you're awesome i love you uh let's kiss okay mm -hmm. <laughs> bye good luck nigga you know party i see you work at hardy's never too super size hurry up i'm starving gnarly radical on the block i'm magical see me at your college campus baggy full of adderall call me if you need a fix call me if you need a boost see the mother